Why hello guys. Today I found this little camera. It's called Samsung Fino 105S. It's a zoom. It has a zoom lens from 38 to 105 millimeters. And it really surprised me. This camera has so many features that you won't believe. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get started and I will tell you all about it. Why this uh, little camera impressed me first, we put the battery in, it takes uh, one CR123 battery. <clears throat> uh, this is the first battery and the second battery goes on the data back. You use a CR2025 battery. You have to open this back plate here, not the, this, the whole back, back plate. You have to unscrew four screws. This is the first, second, third, third, and fourth. You take out the plate, and on the back of the plate, you can change the battery. Then you set your date here. Uh, you select. I choose the year 2002 because it's closer to 2022 uh, but the camera starts from the year that uh, it ends in 2019 and starts in 94 so I believe this is the year that the uh, camera was manufactured in the, in the year 1994 so I'll go back to 2002 and you can select the month, the date, and then the clock. No, the clock. So this is how you select the time. Okay, that's it. So uh, this is with the data back. If you want your film to be imprinted with the uh, uh, time or the date that you're shooting on the back you have the on off switch the zoom buttons a diopter for uh, those of you guys that wear glasses you can uh, set your dioptria for the viewfinder also two leds the uh, autofocus uh, led that uh, blinks if it cannot uh, focus and stays on if it focused and also the flash LED that uh, lets you know if on auto if the flash will fire. On uh, on the top we have the shutter button and two uh, buttons: the flash button and the mode button. The mode button is particularly interesting. I will show you in a minute why. It's a plastic camera. It has good colors. I've got it in almost. Actually, it's new. I don't think this camera has ever been used. Uh, I'm gonna throw some film inside. You have the DX coded uh, contacts there that reads the ISO of the film. You slide the film in, you put it upside down, and it goes from the left to the right, uh, opposite to the other point and shoot cameras, the majority. You close it, and you're on the first frame. Let's switch it on. Okay. Let's use the zoom and extend the lens. It's got a high pitch noise, but it's not that noisy. You can. The viewfinder is really nice. Not that big, not that small. Let's go through the uh, modes, the flash, the flash button from auto. Let's use the auto focus. It didn't fire the flash because it was in the daylight. Now you can see if I try to focus up close, it's too close and the uh, auto focus uh, LED lets me know. Let's focus further away. And now the LED stays lit and also the flash. That's what on auto. Let's uh, switch to 
this is the eye red eye reduction and gives you a pre flush i think to uh, reduce your uh, uh to uh, close your uh, iris so you won't have uh, vampire eyes <laughs> uh, daylight flash <clears throat> fill in flash and no flash that's it well is it on no flash and let's see the modes first we have the timer the two second timer okay so the timer leads up this LED and then it fires after approximately 10 seconds maybe we continue <clears throat> through the modes oh this is the two second timer there we go a faster timer fuzzy beats me man I I don't know what fuzzy means Maybe if it's fuzzy outside, right? <laughs> Foggy, I don't know. Uh, portrait, maybe it uh, keeps the aperture wide open. Step, step. I don't know what this does. Oh, what do we got there? Uh, birth shot. There we go. You keep the shutter pressed, then we will, it will take every shot. Uh, one frame per second. Uh, let's continue to multiple exposure. Can you believe it? You have multiple exposure on this camera. So let's take uh, actually two exposures. Let's take the first one. Uh, let me put it. Okay. That was the first shot. You can hear the motor did not pull the film. This is the second shot and it was pulled, so you can do double exposure. Uh, and then it resets, so we have to uh, go to the menu again. Multiple exposure, bulb. You leave the shutter open as long as you keep the button pressed. That's absolutely fantastic to have a bulb mode to do night photography okay infinity focus this is for landscape uh, snap multiple exposure maybe uh, a snap for birth shot i don't know and this you guys int int i this check check this out so i fire the shutter right it takes the shot the camera switches off <clears throat> and then after 10 seconds it switches on again and takes another shot switches off <laughs> and after 10 seconds it switches on again takes another shot what this is what is this <laughs> i tell you what this is this is <clears throat> on a point and shoot camera time lapse can you believe it this point and shoot camera has time lapse photography <laughs> this is amazing if you if you just want to take 36 frames and just leave the camera and you know go for a walk and then you find yourself with a little time lapse on film. Well, that's amazing, I would say. So, uh, if you've seen this uh, so uh, so many features on a point and shoot camera, please let me know because this is the first uh, the first one that I that I see and I use. Um, let's uh, pull the film back in the case. I have to maybe turn it on first. Okay, 
so that's it guys this is the uh, review of the Samsung Fino 105s a nice little point and shoot camera with so so many features thank you guys for watching and if you uh, like these kind of reviews of uh, little point and shoot cameras please stay tuned ciao